Numbering is a crucial part of working in Tecla structures. Part and assembly numbers affect many stages of the project, from creating drawings and reports to construction. In this video, we will show you how you can find and fix overlapping numbers in your models. Sometimes, after you have numbered the model, you might receive an overlapping number series warning. The warning indicates that one group of numbers, also known as numbering series, overlaps with another one in your model. This means that two objects would have the same part number or assembly number even if they shouldn't. In these cases, Tecla Structures numbers only one of the objects with overlapping numbers. The other object is left unnumbered. However, all model objects need to be numbered so that you can create accurate fabrication drawings, reports, or NC files, or export model information. That's why we need to fix overlaps in numbering. To find out which numbering series overlap, you can see the unnumbered objects in either the numbering history log or organizer. In this first example, let's use the numbering history log. Open the file menu, go to logs, and select numbering history log. Let's scroll up to find all the rows that say overlap detected in numbering. By clicking rows in the numbering history log, we can select the related objects in the model. This way, we can see which objects are currently unnumbered. In this case, we can see that all of the unnumbered objects are columns in the C20 numbering series. We can fix the situation by changing the start number of the C20 numbering series. To do so, let's create a selection filter that only selects the columns in that numbering series. Create a new filter and name it. Then we'll add three rows. The first row limits the selected objects so that only objects with the part number prefix C are selected. The second row further limits the selected objects so that only objects whose part start number is 20 are selected. The third row determines that only parts are selected. This way, we don't accidentally select other model objects, such as components. Let's save the filter and open the property pane. Then, we'll use our new filter to select the columns whose part numbering series we need to modify. Let's change the start number of the part numbering series. If we change the start number from 20 to 200, we can ensure that there are enough available part numbers for the other columns in the model. Let's renumber the selected columns. On the Drawings and Reports tab, click Perform Numbering and choose a numbering command. In this case, we only want to renumber the columns in the selected numbering series, so we'll choose Number Series of Selected Objects. We can view the details of the numbering round in the Numbering History log. As you can see, numbering was successful, and no overlaps remain in the model. If there are several overlapping numbering series in your model, you can repeat the process, find the overlapping numbering series, change the start number, and renumber the objects in the numbering series. Overlaps in the assembly numbering series can be fixed in the same way as the previous example. 
However, this time we'll use organizer instead of the numbering history log. Let's select the objects that we want to view in organizer. This time, we only want to see the steel beams and purlins in the model, so we will use another selection filter. Then, let's open Organizer. We can see the assembly numbers of the selected objects in the part list. Any unnumbered objects are marked with a question mark in the assembly mark column. Let's hold down Shift and scroll down to select all of the unnumbered objects. Then we'll right click and choose Select in the model. Let's change the start number of the series from 10 to 200. Then we will renumber the selected beams and purlins. The overlaps in assembly numbers should now be fixed. Of course, we can verify the result in Organizer as well. As you can see, the objects now have new assembly numbers and no question marks remain in the assembly mark column.